Hi, my name is Lauren. This is Lisa. We are students at the UC Davis School of Veterinary Medicine. With JT's help, we're going to show you the correct way to brush your cat's teeth. We know that this procedure can be challenging, especially when you're dealing with a squirmy kitty or an older cat. The truth is that most cats will accept brushing. You just have to be gentle, have fun, and introduce the procedure gradually. There are many reasons to brush your cat's teeth on a daily basis. First of all, brushing can help to control your cat's bad breath and save your cat from considerable discomfort. Also, brushing can help to decrease the number of required dental cleanings at your veterinarians. Finally, routine and consistent brushing can help to prevent gingivitis and periodontitis. Each normal cat tooth has a crown and one to three roots. It sits in the jawbone, is surrounded by gingiva or gum, and is held in place by the periodontal ligament. Gingivitis means inflammation of the gum. It occurs when plaque, made up of proteins, carbohydrates, and bacteria from saliva, builds up on the crown at and below the gum line. If the plaque is not removed, toxins produced by the bacteria will infiltrate the inner lining of the gum and cause inflammation. Periodontitis occurs when the inflammation due to the bacterial toxins destroys the ligament as well as the surrounding bone. Gingivitis and periodontitis together are referred to as periodontal disease. If left unchecked, periodontal disease may result in tooth loss and possibly bacterial or toxic damage to the heart, liver, and kidneys via the bloodstream. A healthy gum line is firm and lies flat against the teeth. An unhealthy gum line with gingivitis will have gums that are red, inflamed, and may bleed easily. Although it looks bad, this condition is still reversible. These teeth are affected by periodontitis. Notice the destruction of not only the gum, but also the surrounding bone. This video is intended to supplement first-hand guidance from your veterinarian. Every pet is different, so restraint and choice of toothbrush and toothpaste will vary. It is best to start brushing your pet's teeth at an early age. Daily brushing will decrease the occurrence of gingivitis and periodontitis. However, brushing does not replace dental exams or dental cleanings at your veterinarian's office. The first step in tooth brushing is choosing a toothbrush and a toothpaste for your cat. There are several toothbrushes to pick from. There is the finger brush, which fits over your index finger. Then there is the cat brush, which is easier to manipulate because it is designed especially for a cat's mouth. It has a long handle, an angled head, and extra soft bristles. Finally, you can use a human toothbrush. Just make sure it has soft bristles and buy the child-sized brush. Be sure to use toothpaste made especially for pets. Pet toothpaste comes in flavors like chicken, seafood, and malt. Do not use human toothpaste because it contains foaming agents which can upset your pet's stomach and fluoride which is toxic when swallowed. It is actually the mechanics of brushing and not the pet toothpaste that reduces plaque buildup, but pets really seem to like the taste and it can make the brushing experience more enjoyable. Next, there are several ways to hold your cat for brushing. The following are a few suggestions, however, there is no right or wrong answer. You can sit your cat on a table and press your cat's backside up against you. Sometimes little restraint is necessary and you may be able to approach your cat head on. You can also sit your cat on your lap with his or her backside up against you. You can lay a soft towel or blanket under your cat for added comfort. If you have someone to assist you, have that person hold while you do the brushing. Now we are ready to begin. Start by getting your cat used to petting and stroking on the face and chin. Very carefully, handle your cat's lips and slide your fingers along the teeth and gums. You can also coat your fingers with the pet toothpaste. This will help your cat associate the toothpaste flavor with fingers in your cat's mouth. Do this every day for about one week and praise your cat during and afterwards. Restraint can be difficult to maintain unless your cat is exhibiting signs of aggression like hissing, growling, scratching, or biting. Continue to work with your cat even if he or she squirms or rolls. 
Just keep talking softly and praising your cat the entire time you're working together. The goal is to keep toothbrushing, a positive and rewarding experience. After each session, we recommend rewarding your cat with a fun activity your cat enjoys. Next, introduce the toothbrush. Press the pet toothpaste down into the bristles of the brush to prevent your cat from licking it off too quickly. Cats have four kinds of teeth. The incisors, the canines, the premolars, and the molars, which are sometimes hard to see. Begin by brushing along the outside surface of your cat's incisors. Hold the toothbrush at a 45 degree angle so that the bristles go under the gum line and brush in a circular motion. Brush one tooth at a time, spending three to four seconds on each tooth. When your cat is comfortable having the incisors brushed, move to the canines. Finally, work on the premolars and molars. Brush the inside surface of the teeth only if your cat is adjusting well to the brushing. Ultimately, it is most important that you cover the premolars and molars because this is where most plaque buildup occurs. After each session, remember to reward your cat with a fun activity. The first brushing can last only a short while. Increase the brushing time until you are able to brush all of the teeth at once. Once a month before brushing, perform a quick oral exam on your cat. First, inspect your cat's mouth for tumors, bleeding, or chipped teeth. These signs can result from a number of problems. A foul odor can also be a sign of oral disease. Contact your veterinarian with any concerns. Cats, especially over the age of four, commonly suffer from feline odontoclastic resorptive lesions. Clinically, these lesions are first seen as cavities on the tooth at the gum line that are typically covered by inflamed gingiva. These lesions can cause pain and jaw chattering. Additional signs of oral disease include difficulty eating, drooling, and weight loss. If your cat has any of these signs, contact your veterinarian. In addition to daily brushing, dental hygiene diets and treats can decrease the amount of plaque buildup in your cat's mouth. Look for the Veterinary Oral Health Council seal, which assures that a product helps maintain dental hygiene. However, these foods and snacks do not replace brushing because unlike brushing, they do not clean plaque or tartar under the gum line where disease occurs. Ask your veterinarian for details. Remember, routine and consistent brushing can decrease the occurrence of gingivitis and periodontitis. However, brushing does not replace regular dental exams and cleanings by your veterinarian. Each animal is different. Some pets take longer than others to adjust to brushing. Expect progress, not perfection. However long it takes, brushing is a great way to bond with your pet while improving his or her oral health. We hope that this video has been a useful tool and we thank you for taking good and loving care of your pets. Goodbye from all of us.